Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the F-22 and uh, we're going over to a Russian base over here protected by Sukhoi 35s, SA-6, SA-3, SA-5, uh, some possibly some Sukhoi 57s out there. I think there's an AWACS on the ground, uh, transport aircraft, it's a whole thing, right? So we got to get over there, want to bomb the base. Obviously the bombing will be done by the B-2s over here. There's a formation of three and we're gonna try to protect them all the way in. It should be difficult to protect these guys, so I wanna be careful with that. It won't be super easy, um, but I think we can get them to the airfield to complete their objective. Um, we're gonna have to obviously deal with whatever is vector to intercept. And I think the Russians have an AWACS on the ground, which should be scrambling once they realize that uh, something's heading into the airspace. But uh, I am expecting our stealth for the F-22 and the B-2 to do most of the heavy lifting and basically walk us in. We are once again carrying the AMRAM Deltas here today. Uh, I'm going to vector onto these possible Sukhois off in the distance here. And those guys should be alright for a couple minutes. I'll be right back. Right, stealth obviously doesn't make us invisible all the way, you know what I mean? It's uh, it's not quite that simple. It looks like we have uh, the Sukhoi 35s here vectoring in on me. They're turning in now, flight of two. You can see them uh, turning around and putting their noses onto us. That's a Fox 3 and another Fox 3. And we'll hold lock while those find their targets. And that's about 36 miles. So those Sukhois must be seeing something or at least they're being vectored onto something because they are turning the right way. They are looking in the right direction. There's the three guys over there, the B2s. Uh, we lost luck on one of these Sukhois here. Hoping the AMRAM seeker will find the target anyway. You hear that uh, increased beeping tone. That's uh, Sukhoi trying to lock me. Okay, that missile should have made impact by now. At least two of them. Okay, splash one off in the distance right there. And looks like the second Sukhoi didn't get hit by the AMRAM. And I see a missile in the air. I don't know who's shooting missiles. Okay, those guys are getting shot at. I don't see the second Sukhoi wingman. He's not on radar either. Oh, there he is. He's at 11,000 feet. 21 miles. Fox 3. The B2s have already dodged one missile from this guy. Looks like he's got another one in the air now. That AMRAM looks like it's tracking. Yeah, that missile's turning in. It's heading right for the B2s. Hopefully if I kill him, the uh, missile will lose some sort of track. Give the B2s a better chance. Sukhoi 35 is a good aircraft, man. Splash 
That guy's dead. Alright, let's head back here. Oh, I think we lost one of the B2s. Oh no. Is it just one? I only see smoke for one. Let's uh, form up with the other two. Okay, RWR is indicating a tin shield is up. Uh, that's probably the SA-5 search radar. And uh, look at this, we got a uh, Sukhoi 57s. All right, we're gonna have to take care of those Sukhois. We've already lost one B-2. If we lose another one, this mission is scrapped. Two is still enough to destroy that base, but one will not be enough. So we're going to have to knock out those Sukhois. They cannot get any missiles off like the, Su the Sukhoi 35s did. I just got to pick these guys up on radar, hopefully before they see me on radar. Locked. And... Where's the other guy? There should be two of them. RWR says there's two. There's the other one. 37 miles, Fox 3, and Fox 3. Russia actually took delivery of four more of these things today, so that's pretty interesting. That's good. They took, they got four new ones because I'm about to cross two of them off the list here. <laughs> Hopefully those AMRAMs are going to track correctly because they're getting pretty close here at 27 miles. Uh, they're going to be within range to shoot at those B2s pretty quickly, I think. They're going to see through the stealth, essentially they get much closer. 23 miles. Any second now. Maintaining lock for those AMRAMs. There you go. You see splash one. Basically you know, if you can keep the lock, you can almost ensure that those uh, AMRAMs will find their targets. So, splash two Sukhois. What's going to happen now is I'm going to keep my altitude low. And I'm going to start driving at that airfield. Uh, there should be two B2s up here somewhere. There they are. Looks like they're still on target. Everything's good. The Sukhoi 57s did not manage to kill them. And what I'm going to do is just scan low on that airfield and see if I can pick up anybody scrambling or any fighters taking off. Uh, you want to pull security for those B2s essentially. Anything that takes off from that base I will kill. Uh, at least that's the, that's the plan. And we'll see. Hopefully their AWACS is not in the air yet because that'll be a problem. I also have 
two 9X Sidewinders left and one Amram. And those guys are on track. You can see them basically forming up into a formation, it looks like. The air base should be right up ahead there. I don't see a whole lot. I see two aircraft taxiing to the runway. Transports, possibly an AWACS. Unable to get a lock right now. Those B2s should be getting pretty close. Their bay doors should be opening any second now. That also means I don't want to fly directly over the base right now. <laughs> In case those bombs fall, I don't want to be anywhere near that thing. Um, but I do have two AWACSs here, or at least one AWAX, one transport, who seems to be trying to take off. Vertical lock is also not picking them up. Sidewinders aren't seeing them. No worries here. As soon as he takes off, I'll see him. I'm shoot an AMRAM at him. He's rolling down the runway now. Whatever that is. That guy's off and Fox 3. We got the lock there. Amram might hit trees here. Yeah, it hit the trees. Great. Okay, Sidewinder's away. Fox 2. Fox 2. And those should hit him or should be in range. Splash. Yeah, he's going down. Okay, that transport went in hard. I think the AWACS was trying to get off the ground. There's the bombs. Bombs are impacting perfectly on target there. <laughs> I wonder if that AWACS... Oh, it did. Look at that. It got off the ground before the bombs hit, I guess. No problem. We're gonna have to gun him though. Alright, we're gonna have to shoot the engines. These things can take a decent amount of punishment, so... Whoa, look at this guy. He's like... trying to dogfight. <laughs> Remove those two engines. There we go. And two more to go on the other side. I think these guys can actually fly with just one engine. There you go. There's one engine left now. He's still flying. There we go. All right. And there goes his wing, too. Engine wing. He's going to need all of those. Down it goes. Splash 1 AWACS. And let's get out of here. 